So corner number three for Drogheda. Markey this time goes into the box with it rather than playing it short. It's headed back across the face of the goal. It's going to break out to yes. Dale Rooney. It's towards the bottom corner, cleared off the line or just in front. After that, it's been all Drogheda. Dara Markey this time concedes the free kick against JJ Loney. It's an attempt from a long way out here. That's Ooh. just over. McCabe was scrambling back. They'll really have to be on their guard to knock a caught like that again. But there's a long way to go in this game. And with the conditions and the heat that's out there, the benches for both sides could well be crucial. And as we know, Drogheda is, is a, a lot lighter than Shelburne's ball played in towards Rooney. Tries to get up there, but J.R. Wilson grimes his away. He slips one to his left to Ryan Brennan about 30 yards from the Shelburne goal. He's made it round up towards the edge of the box. Oh. He's been charged out of it there, surely, by, by Paddy Barrett. Ha he's the no intentions of playing the ball at all. I don't need to see it again. He's just barred from it. outside the box, it's a, it's a free kick. Well, that looked for all the world like a penalty. The only thing I can think of was the referee thought he wasn't getting near the ball, but Paddy Barrett has just He's shunted just into him. No intentions of playing the ball. He's just completely checked him. You'll see it now again. I don't need to see the replay, but let's have a look at it. Here it is again. Ryan Brennan, little one-two here. Up towards Rooney, gets it back. Well, Paddy Barrett just charges into him. I'm all day long. Really surprised that one hasn't been given. A glory see Sonny Weaver's back. And again, Shelburne caught in possession inside their own half, and Ryan Brennan plays a nice ball too. Dylan Grimes, is he going to get shot away? Plays one short to Markey. It's come to Rooney on this near side. Back to Grimes again. Markey makes a run. He plays it towards the far post. So Ryan Brennan gets up and wins the header. Barrett gets it away. Shabron just can't get out. Every time they get up to the halfway line, they're being stripped of possession. In towards Draper. It's chested down by him. Shouts for handball. Not given. Markey on the edge of the box. Can he get the shot away? He can. It's mm. just going over the bar. But good play once again from Drada. Yeah, Adebayega starts it, doesn't he, with the interception. He's brilliant. A little pirouette on the ball. It's good. In the ball. Markey again involved. Draper involved. But just before that shell building up, it's 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 still better than keeping the ball and minding the ball and having to recycle it and start again and go through the keeper and Le back out. That's fine. Keeley, that's a good play from J.R. Wilson, but he uh, ultimately lost out and Keeley hooked it across the face of the goal and Rooney has a crack from outside the box or just inside in fact and it's he just hit it with the outside of his boot. I think it was a, a cross come shot, maybe hoping to get a little nicked off somebody on the way through, but Kearns did well to keep an eye on it. And it can be, can't it, a cross come shot because he's at that angle like where he's just going to smash it across goal. If it goes on target, great. If not, somebody might get a nick on it. It's one of them. Pressing towards the byline here, he's got Lunny at his back. Here's Markey, cross comes in from Rooney. Up goes Dylan Grimes, he knocks it down. It's surely oh, going to be in, it's over the bar. Geez. Luke Heaney. Here's Barrett, and oh, that's a good bit of play for Markey. Now he gets in down the left-hand channel. Can he get the cross in? Barrett blocks no, it out really for well. another corner. He's just pressed so well, haven't they? I've said it before, and I've said it over the half about them getting caught in the ball at the back. Again, Markey really well. The way he started the game, pressing really well. Presses Barrett, nips in, just unable to get by him, but again, forces the corner. Corner number eight for Drogheda. It's gone short this time. Markey, can he get it into the box? He can. It's a good one, and it's in the net. Oh. It's a goal. It has been coming. You can't say it hasn't, and it's Freddie Draper, his third of the season, Dr Paul, and it's been well deserved. Yeah, and we said it, can they score when they get on top? It didn't happen in the first half, and it's had to happen very early in the second half. I don't think there's enough pressure on the ball from a Shelburne point of view. Markey's out nearly with a two. They don't send two out. He gets his chance to put his foot on the ball. Great delivery, I thought. I was thinking, can someone go and attack it? Draper fancies it, gets his head on it, buries a pass, Cairns, 1-0. Totally deserved. So three minutes into the second half, and it's goal number three of the season for Freddie Draper. Inside the centre circle, Dara Markey is there, but Rooney, I suspect, will hit this one again. Connor Keeley is at the back post, and again it's aimed towards him. Again, he gets up and wins it, and it's down towards Draper. It's off the crossbar. Oh. What a goal that would have been. I just think it's suicidal that they're leaving Connor Keeley every time free, and Barrett is not matching up with him 1v1. As it, Connor Keeley on the opposite side, it was matching up 1v1. It was Jack Moylan again who was the closest to him. But they're not, he's, they're not even picking him up. They're not even getting tight to him. Looney plays one forward, then the left hand channel. Robinson does well to take it in. He gets around Adic Vallega, and that's going to be a free kick and a booking for Adic Vallega. Yellow card for him. Again, from the left hand side, the smart money will be on former UCD man to whip this one towards the far corner or maybe put it over the wall at the near post up he comes it's towards the far top corner it's in that's a brilliant goal from Evan Caffrey no chance for Colin McCabe they're right behind it here into the top corner and it's 1-1 Paul it's a smashing free kick he's cut you know what he's got it up and over with some serious pace it's, we're right behind it here and it's right in the top corner it's just 
It's inch perfect into the top corner. We couldn't be at a better angle for it. Shelbourne back in the game. Here it is again. McCabe's on that side, but he just can't reach. It's right into the top corner. Posted stamp stuff from Evan Caffrey. And for all the play and all the pressure draw they've had, they haven't managed to put enough daylight between the two sides. See again. Okay, Park. Very much draw the player now back in his hometown. Oh, a lovely scoop ball through by Hakiki and McCabe comes out and he wins it ahead of Robinson. But the mind's tired and, uh, and brings you them places. Here's Moyle and he gets inside. Oh, he's got a chance to get the shot away and it's blocked by Ryan Brennan. And it comes back off Moyle and it's not going to carry for a goal kick and Dylan Grimes going to have to deal with this one, but he wins a throw in. Robinson's, I suppose, header is a, is, a, is a great chance for them, but they've been better in the second half, but still... Kevin Doherty wants a free kick there. It's not been given, and the flag stays down. There's a chance for Moylan to win it here for Shelburne. He cuts inside. Oh, Is he going to finish it? Oh, it's a, a brilliant save from McCabe. McCabe has just put a bit of pressure on here the last five minutes. And there it is. It's all over. Well, it's been a very, very exciting and eventful Bank Holiday Monday clash here between Trotty United and Shelburne. Kevin Doherty and Damien Duff shake hands on the touchline.